So welcome to the CQ University Undergraduate Psychology Unit that goes by the name of Critical Social, uh, Critical Cultural Social Psychology. Not at all complicated. Now, I go by the name of Paul Ducker and I'm the unit coordinator. So I'm in the kitchen right now, which is where I start my videos from, um, but I'm about to head into my studio. Now the kitchen, which is just over there, has got the coffee in it, so that's why I hang out there at the start of the teaching sessions. But I don't always come to the studio for recording the teaching sessions. I'm going to talk to you from a variety of places. I'll be driving in my car. Eyes on the road, eyes on the road. And sometimes I might be on my bike. That's probably a bad idea because I kind of run out of puffs. And sometimes I'll be going for a walk. Sometimes I might be in my office at the Townsville campus. So I may be coming to you from lots of different places, but there'll be several things that thread all of it together. First, there are our topics. We have three of them. First, mental illness. Second, disability. And third, sexuality. Now next we have two themes, and they are first, social support, and, and second, social power. Now our teaching sessions are pre-recorded, and if you're enrolled on my unit with CQ University in Australia, you get to attend the weekly live online tutorials as well. Now, why don't I just stay in the studio and do all of my recording from here? Well, there are two reasons really. We have to wean ourselves off of PowerPoint lectures. This studio is all set up really for me to show you PowerPoint lectures, which on the slides, oh, <laughs> where's slide? Over there, aren't they? Yeah. So, so the slides that come up on the screen just behind me. So this is all set up for a PowerPoint lecture. Now that format has been great for delivering content and was great when we delivered everything in person in lecture theatres. But these days we're starting to focus on delivering skills rather than content and more and more we're moving online. And another shift is in how we've moved from being media content consumers to becoming media content creators. And that's changing how video looks. So I'm going to try and loosen the grip of PowerPoint presentations on this unit, loosen up the video a little bit, try out some different ways of presenting ideas to you via video, um, and try to get away from the lecture style PowerPoint presentations if I can. It's going to be hard for me because I've spent the last 25 years of my teaching career basically hooked on PowerPoint presentations or the equivalent as they used to be before we had PowerPoint, which is actually, it was identical to PowerPoint. It just wasn't electronic. We just had prints, printouts on transparencies. Anyway, that's gone way, way back. Now, why don't I just stay in the studio when I'm filming our teaching sessions? Well, there is another reason. And it's because we're looking in this unit an area of psychology called social psychology. And when you do social psychology, you need to get out of the psychology lab or out of the psychology classroom and head out to where the people are. Now, I'm not going to go to where that many people are because I get too embarrassed vlogging in public, <laughs> carrying a big camera around with me, talking to the camera, too embarrassing for me. So when I'm going out and about, um, there may not be that many people around. Just because just I'm too embarrassed. So, I'm now going to head off and start my filming for the teaching sessions for our unit. Now remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click that little notification bell um, on the YouTube page so you can get my teaching videos straight out of the oven, so to speak. And once you've watched the video, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment in the comment section so I get to see what you think about it and also people can start having a discussion on that forum. If And particularly that would be good for people who are not enrolled in the unit. If you're enrolled in the unit, you've also got the discussion boards, which is on our learning management system called Moodle. So I'll tell you more about the unit in the next video, specifically about the assessments, but till then, 
Ta-da.